Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. I'm a fashion reseller on Poshmark and eBay. Today I have a thrift haul to share with you. So um, this thrift haul comes from a few different sources. I think I got a few things from buy, sell, trade stores. I got a Nordstrom Rack order and I also sourced on Poshmark. So I'm going to go through it with you today and show you what I got. So we're actually going to start with the shoes. I got the shoes at Crossroads. The first pair are these Everlane um, gray, they're like a loafer sneaker. Um, it's called the new buck and, uh, size six. They are kind of a leather suede upper, um, with this white sneaker bottom, really good shape. I really, I only just had to clean up the white part. Um, so I was excited about that. And then another pair of Everlane shoes. These are like a ballerina flat. Um, they are made of Italian leather, another size six. It's this nice forest green color. The next thing I got at Crossroads is, actually, no, this wasn't Crossroads. This was a different buy, sell, trade store in my area. Um, and this one is called Faithful the Brand. Can you see that? Um, I have not sold this brand before. It is a size extra small. It's just an off the shoulder red blouse. It rolls up, the sleeves roll up to be three quarter length. The next item I got is a Rails brand jacket. It's this animal print um, kind of bomber jacket. It cinches at the waist, cinches at the neck, buttons up all the, or snaps up all the way and zip zips up. And it's got pockets, just a great lightweight jacket. Next, I got this frame denim chambray shirt. This is a size small. Um, it's just this v-neck that laces, long sleeve um, top. The chambray, that light denim style top is always a really good seller for me. Okay, so then I went to, I forgot to say, a thrift store. So this is just a local thrift store that I shop at often. Everything is like one to three dollars. Um, but I did pick up this Duty and Burke bag. Um, it's in excellent condition, really no signs of wear at all. It's got the blue uh, pebbled leather with the tan, and then it's got the handle with the uh, removable shoulder strap. It's a really beautiful piece. I got two dresses at that thrift store. The first one is, um, it's a strapless gray, 100% silk maxi dress. It is new with tags and it's by the brand Parker. Here's the tag and just a really nice, you know, formal uh, gown dress. Now the next dress I got also is new with tags. It is this lace long sleeve mini dress. Um, it's got the black lace with the under. The liner has a, a nude sequin liner. Um, again, new with tags, and the brand is Tadashi Shoji uh, Petite 8, and I'll show you the new tags. Um, so yeah, for the price I paid for these, I was pretty excited to find them. Next, I'm going to show you what I got at a different buy, sell, trade store. So there's two buy, sell, trade stores in my area, so these two can't or these two pairs of jeans did come from uh, Crossroads. So the first pair are made well. These are actually already sold. Um, so I'll be packaging these up later today, but they're the nine inch high rise. They have the button fly. They're black skinny jeans with a raw hem. Excellent condition. There's the back patch. I mean, pretty much anything, I've said it before, anything black high rise skinny jeans sells really well for me. And then the next pair of jeans I got is a brand I've never heard of, but I checked comps and they were really good. It's called Rolas. Um, it is a classic light wash skinny jean high rise. Just a really flawless um, jean. Next, we're going to go into what I got at Nordstrom Rack and I actually ordered it online again. So this is the second time I've ordered online at Nordstrom Rack. And the reason is simply because I like sourcing online. It's probably my favorite way to source simply because I can really take my time and look up every single item and check comps and 
decide if it's something I want to get. Um, if I go into Nordstrom Rack, you know, it just takes a lot longer to really look through everything and find the best deals. But if you do go on their website, you can find, you know, their highest priced or their like highest percentage off. So you can like source by 90% off items and it's just kind of an easy way to find the best deals, I think. So I'll show you what I got. The first, I did return a couple things after checking comps again and then finding that it was oversaturated, but that's the, the great part about sourcing retail arbitrage, you can return things. So this is what I didn't return, this is what I kept. And the first is a pair of jeans by Le Jance, size 25. Um, they're called the Margot High Rise Skinny and they're a white jean with this black uh, like tuxedo stripe on both sides. Uh, next is another pair of Le Jantz jeans. These are size 24. They're the Margot High Rise Skinny in this animal print, or it's like a safari print, um, green with the floral and the like jaguars on it. Thought that was pretty cool. Another pair of jeans, this is brand called NSF there size 24 just a classic high-rise skinny jean again it's got that deep front pocket it's kind of a soft white like bone color another pair of lojance jeans these are a size 23 and they're called the joplin high-rise flare so they're a black high-rise with a slight flare at the bottom um, kind of giving me 70s vibes are very trendy right now and then we got a jumpsuit this brand is Julia Jordan 10 petite I haven't sold this brand before uh, the comps were all over the place but I thought I'd take a chance on it because I do sell jumpsuits um, pretty well so this is a royal blue jumpsuit it's got this mock neck detail pockets and a zipper on the back the last item I got from this Nordstrom Rack order is an ALC top. So it's this blue crop top. It's called the Levine top. Ties in the front. It is a size eight. Yeah, size eight. This kind of like powder blue is really in right now. And then the last few things I got, I actually ordered from a seller on Poshmark, which I do this occasionally. Sometimes it's a success and sometimes it's not. Um, usually I try to source items that are new with tags just so that I can be confident that they are in good condition. Otherwise I sometimes am skeptical, but, um, these were like from her personal wardrobe. So, um, they were, I could really trust that she was probably telling the truth and she gave me a really good deal. So the first item is an Alice and Olivia blouse. It's hundred percent silk ties in the front. It's got this burnout. Um, stripe on one side and like floral print on the other. It is a size large. Next is an ALC top. This is green silk as well with the flower print, size four. And when I did check comps again on this after I got it, 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 it doesn't resell for as much as I thought it did. So I think in the future, I would only pick up ALC tops if they were new with tags. Next, we have a pair of pants. These are by Beach Riot, size medium. And they are this uh, black pant with a cherry print on it. It's got a pocket, elastic waistband, and then this cuffed bottom. So they actually fit like an ankle pant. Next, we have a dress. This is a halter style black dress that has this crochet all over it. It is low in the back. And the brand I've never sold before, but it's um, always kind of been, had a big following. Um, it's Jen's Pirate Booty, size extra small. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this brand does for me. And the last item I got from her was Pam and Jella. Gala, I don't know how to say that, size medium. It is a black bodycon dress and it has this side ruching um, and this high neck 
really classic, stretchy, easy to wear dress. So um, that is my thrift haul for today. Um, I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. You can um, leave some comments below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.